Today we are going to look at number basis. In number basis, we are going to be looking at conversion of number basis from one base number to another base number. The first thing we are going to look at here under number basis is the conversion. Conversion from base ten which is also called binary base or K to any other base hmm. we take an example and the example is convert the number one, two, three base 10 to base 6 remember I have said base 10 is the denary and base 6 is also called the Heza base Heza base base 6 is also called the Heza base while base 10 is also called the denary or denary scale our solution you will carry out a division process by long division process with a special interest in the remainder after the division and you can write your one two three draw a line and then you divide it by six 6 into 12 is 2 and uh, into 3 is 0 the remainder is 3 you put the remainder down the 6 we go again into 20 is 3 the remainder is 2 and the 6 we go again 6 cannot divide 3 as early so it will be 0 and you put down the last number there which is 3 roll across and then up indicating with the arrow to show that they are ready the answer from the day to the top. So the final answer therefore will be equal to three to three and this is in base six. And this gives you the solution to that. So any conversion from base ten to any base, you simply carry out the division of the number in base ten by the base number you are converting to and at each point of division you put down the remainder and at the end of your division you will write your answer from the base to the top as we have done we shall take another example because this one looks a little bit confusing a student will decide to write 3, 2, 3 from the top and the one writing from 3, 2, 3 from the base seems to have, not seems, actually have the same answer Maybe another example will make it clearer. We can take another example to illustrate what I've just explained. Let's say we have number 3, 1, 5, it is, it is 10, sorry, 2, base 8. Another name for base 8 is octa base. Octa base. The solution, you write the 315 and then you put your slash here and you put your 8 here, meaning you are divided 315 by 8. 8 into 31 is 3, remember 7 into 75 is 9, 72, remember 3. 8 into 39 is 32, that is 4, and then what remains from 32 is remainder 7. And then 8 will go again, 8 cannot divide 4, as that is, you will bring down the 4, and then you rule and you take it up. And your final answer will be equal to 4, 7, 3 and in the 
This is now clearer, indicating that you must start your answer from the base to the top. Let us also quickly look at a situation where you are converting from conversion from any base to this term. This is done by expansion. or multiplication stroke addition method. We shall see both in the example that we are going to solve. Let's say for example convert 473 base 8 to B9. Our solution the first method by expansion. By expansion. How is this done? You have your 473 which is the base 8 your 3 here is under 8 place value is 8 to the power 0 the 7 is under 8 to the power 1 and then the 4 is under 8 to the power 2 so in other words expanding this 4 times 8 to the power 2 plus 7 times 8 to the power 1 and then plus 3 times 8 to the power 0. And simplifying this further, you have this as 4 times 64. And this is uh, 7 times 8. And this is 3 times 1. From the loss of indices, any number less to power 0 is equal to 1. And this becomes, multiply this out, this is 16, 24, 25, this is 56, and this is 3. Adding them, 3 plus 6 plus 6 is uh, 15, you carry 1, that is 6 plus 5 is 11, and then you carry 1 again. This is 3, and then this 10. That gives you the value, the equivalent of 473 in base. 473 base 8 in base 10. Let's check again to make sure we are correct. 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15. We carry 1. Add the one here, 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. We carry 1 again. Add the one here, 3, 1, 5, is 10. Correct. Now, we will look at another situation. And this is operations. With basis. Operations with number basis. What are the operations we carry out here? We are going to carry out addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then division. All right. We shall take a look at examples. For example, you are told to find 352 base 8 plus 531 also in base 8. 
our solution you arrange as normal process of adding that you know very well from primary school and then this one is also 531 you already know that you are dealing with base 8 you can see put it there to remind you 1 plus 2 in base 8 remains as 3 no problem 3 plus 5 is 8 and 8 in base 8 is actually 1 0 so you put that 0 you carry 1 add the 1 to this again it will give you 9 9 in base 8 is 1 remainder 1 so it is 1 1 base 8 put down 1 and this is the one you carry and put down the base number there and then that is the solution to the problem you have carried out your addition remember if you are also dealing with base 7 the process will also follow suit if you are dealing with base 6 the same story even base 9 you follow the same method but you cannot use this to solve problems of base 5 or of base 4 because in this case the digits will tell you that you cannot have 5 when you are dealing with base 5 you can only have 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 take note of that another example is on subtraction 5, 3, 1, base 7 minus 4, 5, 2, base 7 Solution. Just like in addition, you arrange this. And then you have 4, 5, 2. The 7 and the 7. You are subtracting. Take away 2 from 1 is not possible. So you are going to carry 1 from here, or what we normally say. Borrow one, take one from the one you take from the unit here is seven. So add the seven here is eight. Take away two from eight, that will give you six. You are left with two here. Again, you cannot take away five from two. You again take one from this five, and the one you take is also seven. Add it to the two remaining here is nine. Take away five from nine, give you four. You are left with 4 here, 4 from 4 is 0, you don't need to put the 0 here. Then you underline and you write your base number. And that gives you the solution. Let us quickly refresh on the second method of forbatum from any base to denary, which I mentioned earlier. Let's take for example, 4, 7, 3, base 8, which we did earlier, to denary. Denary we know is base 10. Our solution will be write your 473, give it some gaps. I call this multiplication and addition process. And this is how it is done. You multiply the first digit, which is 4, by the 8, and it will give you 32. Add the next digit, which is 7, to give you 39. Multiply again the 39 by 8 and that will give you 312. That is 312. Add the last digit which is 3 and that will give you 315 base 10. After adding the last digit, you do not multiply again by 8 and that gives you the solution by this multiplication and addition process. So we have two methods now you can use for conversion from any base to base 10 or ordinary. Let's continue with the examples on operations of number bases. Let's take a look at multiplication. This time around I want to look at the multiplication of binary uh, numbers. We have 110 base 2 times 11 base 2. Remember Base 2 is also called the binary base. And uh, the computer language today is binary language. In the sense that every information you feed into your computer 
a compiler translated to this is 0 and 1. So the binary scale using digits 0 and 1. So the computer language is binary language. Now let's leave that and look at this problem here. We want to multiply this by this. So how do you solve that? Your solution 1 1 0 and then of course 1 1 all in base 2. This is quite trivial. 1 times 0 we know is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 1 again is 1. We are finished with the first digit. You take the second digit. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is again 1. Now what do you do? After multiplication, you add. Now, some people would like to put 0 here so that every place here is covered. We would like to put 0 there. So 0 plus 0, we know 0. This 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 2 in base 2 is 1, 0. So we put that 0. Carry 1 again. This is 2 again. So that is 0. And that is 1. We put that there is 2. And the problem is to be solved. We still take on an example on division. Suppose you are asked to carry out a division. Let's use the binary digits. Starting of this nature, and you are asked to divide this by 101 base 2. I am going to apply two methods in solving this, but for binary digits, it is quite simple. So we can just arrange a long division process. You write your 101, you have your 101. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 1 is 1. You multiply, this is 1, 0, 1. By the time you subtract, everything will be 0, so you bring down the first 0. 1, 0, 1 to 0 is 0. You bring down the next 0. 1, 0, 1 to this two zeros is 0. You bring down the next value, which is 1. 1, 0, 1 to this is also going to be 0. We bring down the next zero here. One zero one to this is again zero. We now bring down the last one. Remember that this zero zero one zero is actually equal to one zero one. So one zero one to one zero one is one. And when you multiply that, you have it. And the result here is zero. When you subtract. So your final answer in this regard is equal to one zero 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 one and then it's two. That's it. We we'll have done that. And that is the solution to that problem. I said that we're going to look at it from another angle. Sometimes we need to convert this to base 10. Carry out the division and then back to base 2. Many of us are conversant with that because we are used to base 10 which is the denary or decimal in most of our operations. So let us try that. Alternative method. Alternatively, we can convert the numbers to base 10. And then carry out the division. Thereafter, convert back to these two. Let us do it together. We have one. Zero one zero zero one and then zero one base two will actually be equal to one times two. How many digits are there after the one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight to power seven. This is zero. Any number multiplied by zero is zero, so we don't need to worry about that. Take the next one. 
times 2 after the 1 you have how many digits 1 2 3 4 5 which is 5 plus this is 0 this is 0 so we don't need that take the 1 again times 2 how many digits are many 1 2 this again 0 so the last one is 1 times 2 no digits are many so let's find 0 now let's look at 2 raised to the power 7 2 raised to the power uh, 7 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 6 is 64 64 times 2 will give you 1, 2, 8 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 and 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 and this is 1 times 1 which is 1 now let's see what this will be 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7 7 plus this is 15 or carry 1 add 1 here we have 4 and 4 plus 2 is 6 and then we have that this is in the 10 you take on the divisor which is 1 or 1 base 2 is equal to 1 Times 2 raised to the 2 plus 1. And then this eventually will give you 4 plus 1, and the answer is 5. Also, 10. So dividing, you divide 1, 6, 5 by this. This is 3, and that is 15. 1, and then 5 again, and that is also 3. So at the end, you have 3, 3, base 10. We should now convert to base 2. 3, 3 base 10 to base 2. And how do you do that? You take your 2, you have your 3, 3. This is 1, the middle 1, it will 13 is 6, and then push the middle 1 there. 2 here is 8, and that's the middle 0. 2 here is 4, that's the middle 0. 2 here is 2, the middle 0. 2 here is 1, then it has 0. And finally, you have, finally you have 2 into 1 cannot, and then it will be 1. Many of us, we do forget this one. Please always remember that the last digit will be the starting answer. We do that call and you have it. The final answer will be 1, we have 4 zeros there, and then our 1. That is this two. Though this is also interesting, it's fun, but uh, it's a longer process. If you know how to do solve this problem with the first one, it's okay. Otherwise, you can see master this method. Let us now look at examples adopted from past questions. Examples adopted. From PQ, past questions. Number one, we said you should convert one zero one point one one two to a number. In this thing. Our solution. Decimal binary numbers are also called bisimans. They are also called bisimans. So let me have 101.1 base 2 to base 10. Another word for this is what? Bissima. That's binary fractions. Bissima. Okay. The method of solution remains the same. By expansion method, you write your 101.11 to be equal to, let us do it the same way we did the first time. This one here, is under 2 raised to the power 0. While the next one is 2 raised to the power 1. 
And this other one is two raised to the power two. Take note of this. Now, after the decimal point, you have two now raised to the power minus one. You can see how it is graduating to power two. Okay, this is power one, sorry. This is power one. Watch this, please. Two to power two. 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 0, the next one is 2 to the power minus 1. And what will be the next one? The next one will be 2 to the power minus 2. And it goes on like that. So in our expansion, we will be able to look at it and say, okay, this means 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0 plus don't bother about the decimal point it will come on its own later just continue with the addition 1 times 2 to the power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power minus 2 now what does this mean? 4 plus 0 plus 1 because 2 to the power 0 is 1 and then plus 1 times remember the loss of indices this becomes 1 times 1 over 2 plus 1 times 1 over 2 raised to the power 2 by the loss of indices. So let's continue. 4 plus 1 is 5 and then plus half and then plus 1 all over 4. Good. So what would this be? 5 plus half plus 1 over 4 is 3 all over 4. So finally we have 5, 3 all over 4 in base 1, in base 10 or somebody can decide to write this as 5 point 5.75 in base 10 5.75 in base 10 you will have converted this number in decimal to this number in decimal in base 10 the same process you will apply even if you are converting from any other base to be same. The process remains the same. If, for example, if it is 3 here now, then all this one will change to 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and then you go on and then you have your result. Example 2. Let's revise the case and you may are told to convert the number 5.75 which is in base 10 to binary or what we call BCM binary fraction now what are you going to do in this case the process here our solution will be like this recall that this 5.75 base 10 it is written as writing 5, 3 all over 4, base 10. Because 0.75, 0 0.75 is the same as 3 quarter. Now, you now convert 5, base 10, to base 2. So we take that. To convert this one to base 2, what do we do? We divide. So we have 5 being divided by 2, that is 2 remainder 1, 2 here, 1 remainder 0, and 2 here, 0 remainder 1. We write our answer from the bottom to the top. So we have 1, 0, 1. Then you take your 3, which is in base 10, also to base 2. So you now have 3, and here is 2. 1 remainder 1, and here is 2, 0 remainder 1. So, you write your answer as 1, 1, also in this uh, 10. Okay, sorry, this is in this uh, 2. Then you also take your 4 in this 10 to base 2. So, what does that mean? 4 is here. And you have 2 here, 2 remainder 0. You have 2 here, 1 remainder 0. And you have 2 here, 0 remainder 1. 
Again, the right answer, one zero zero is two. Put it then together, you now have one zero one plus one one all over one zero zero. And of course this becomes one zero one plus zero point one one. And the result is equal to one zero one point one one now. This was the original problem we solved initially. And you can see how we have also uh, revised the system to get back to this two, which is decimal fraction or decimal number. The binary number or the decimal number. Example three. We are asked to convert the number 175 base 8 2 base 5 solution there is a case where you cannot convert directly to base 5 you cannot convert a base number to another base number other than 10 directly you have to go through the base 10 channel so what we mean by this is that first in our solution first Convert your 175 base 8 to base 10. So let's do that first. So we have 175 8 will actually be equal to 1 times 8 raised to power 2, 7 times 8 raised to power 1, 5 times 8 raised to power 3. This is 64 plus 56 plus 5 and this is equal to 1, 2, 5 to the 10 then you are going to convert this one then the second step you now convert 1, 2, 5 base 10 to the 5 and you know the method by division now divide 1, 2, 5 by 5. That will give you 2, 5 in the 0. And this is 5 in the 0. And this is 1 in the 0. And this is 0 in the 1. And so what do you do? Write your answer. And the final answer will be 1, 0, 0, 0. And it is 5. That's it. This is not 1,000. This is pronounced. One zero 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 is five, and one seven five is eight. Is also pronounced as one seven five is eight. In this case, you call the number digit by digit. It's only when it is base ten that you can say, "Oh, one hundred seventy five. That is base ten. But one seven five base eight is pronounced one seven five base eight. Example four. We have that if 3P12 in base 5 is equal to 407 in base 10, we have to find the value of P. Solution. You will observe that 5 and 10, they are not of the same base. Since the two numbers are of different bases, the proper thing to do is to convert the number in base 5 to base 10. That is the proper thing to do. So we will first of all take our 3 P 1 2 base 5 will be equal to 3 times 5 raised to power 3 plus p times 5 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 5 raised to power 1 and plus 2 times 5 raised to power 0 now this will become 3 multiplying 125 plus 25 p and then plus 5 
and then plus 2. This will give you uh, 15, 7, and 3 plus 25p. Okay, and then plus 7. The result of this is 25p. You add 7 to that, we give you 12. That is 8, and that is 3. And this value is equal to 407 because they are not in the same base numbers. So with this one, you can now have your 25p is equal to 407 minus 382. So that your p is equal to, that is 5, and that will be going to be 2 divided by 25. And the result is uh, 1. 1 in base 5 is the same thing as 1 in base 10. So the answer P is equal to 1. Another example 5 will be something like this. You are giving the question which says find the value of S for which 3, 1, 2, 4 plus 5 to s equal to 9, 6, 10. Now, how do you solve this solution? Just like what we did in example 4, we make sure that the base numbers are all converted to base 10. So we have 3, 1, 4, we give you 3 times 4, let's part 2. 1 times 4 is for 1 and the 2 times 4 is for 0. This will give you 3 times 16 which is 48 and this is 4 and then this is 2. Remember that 4 is for 0 is 1. Adding then you have 54 in the cell. You also take your 52 in the z to be 5 times s is for 1 plus 2 times s raised by 0. The result of this is 5s and then plus 2. And of course, the left hand side now becomes 5, 4 plus 5s plus 2 and the right hand side is 96, all in base 10. All in base 10. So collecting like terms, our 5s is equal to your 96 minus your 56 and then this is equal to your 40 therefore your s is equal to 8 as far as this case is concerned the value of s is uh, 8 so we have 52 in base 8 as the solution to that problem example number 6 we have to find The missing number if the following addition is in basis. We have three, two, zero, one. 4, 5, 2. You have the missing number here. And then you have 1, 1, 1. The result is 1, 2, 1, 0, 3. Our solution to find the missing number, we will add all these numbers together. 3, 2, 0, 1, 4, 5, 2, 1, 1, 1. Add them together. Remember, we are dealing with base 6. This will give you 4. This will give you 0, carry 1. This will give you 2, carry 1. That will give you 4 in base 6. Then what do we do to get the star, star, star? 
So our star 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 will become one two one zero three. Take away your four two zero four. All in base six. So if you take away this, you cannot. You, you take one that is two plus that is five. And uh, here remaining five. Here is zero remaining. So what do you do? You take one again. That is six. That will be four. Here remaining one. Take one again. That is six. Plus that is uh, going to be three. And this is in base six. So this is the solution to the problem. So star star star. The three, four, five, five, eight. Example seven. If K two basis is multiplied by three in basis, and the result is three base five, multiplying K four in base five, what? is the value of K. Solution. Before now you can see base 6, base 6, base 5, base 5. So we need to convert these numbers to base 10 and see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Solution. Our K2 base 6 is equal to K then 6 plus 2 and that will be equal to 6K plus 2. And then when you multiply this our 3 base 6 is descending as 3 times 6 is plus 0 and that is equal to 3. So we now have 3 multiplying 6k plus 2. That is the first, the left hand side. You take the other case, 3 by 5. You descend that 3 times 5, that's plus 0, and that is equal to 3. And you take your k, 4 is by 5. You descend in as k times 5 plus 4, which will give you 5k plus 4. And because of the multiplication, we therefore have that this is 3 multiplying 5k plus 4. So equating the two, this is the right hand side, therefore we have that 3 into 6k plus 2 is equal to 3 into 5k plus 4. So what happens? The 3 here and this will go. So we have 6k minus 5k is equal to 4 minus 2. So that your k here is equal to 2. So k, which is 2 here in the 6, is the same thing as k equal to 2 in the 10. 2 in base 6 and 2 in base 10 are the same. So the answer is k equal to 2. Exercise. These exercises are adopted from past questions. Question number 1. Convert 2, 1, 3, base 4 to denary. The options are a, B, C, D, you can see the values there. So, and get the answer to that. Number two, convert 110112 to base 10. We have options also available. Number three, given that 2, 4 base S and 3, 1 base Y are equal in value when converted to base 10, find the equation connecting S and Y. You have option A, B, C, and D. Number four, if 114 base 6 minus 52 base 6 equal to S base 3, what is the value of S? You also have the options A, B, C, and D accordingly.
Number five. 3, 2, 1, verse 4, divided by 2, 3, verse 4, leaves the remainder R. What is the value of R? A, B, C, and D. We have the answers to the exercise as follows. 1, option B. 2, option A. 3, option B. 4, option A, and 5, option C.